What's going on, Techno Buffalo's Driven? If you can tell behind me, I am not in your average location. We've got an awesome episode for you today. What's more American than apple pie, backyard barbecues and county fairs, and the highlight of county fairs are demolition derbies. We are standing in the pit of the Orange County Fair Demolition Derby. This is where cars just smash and literally, literally bash into each other. And it's the only rule, and the winner is the last car running. We got a lot of awesome things to talk. Interview one of the drivers and find out what goes through the minds of one of these madmen. We're gonna see a Demolition Derby live and up close, and we're gonna have a pretty darn good American time. This Techno like Buffalo is driven. Let's go ahead and get started. Every little boy's dream is to beat a demolition derby, but what goes through the mind of someone actually going to drive one of the cars? I am here with Ryan Nichols, the uh, proud driver of this bad boy beast behind me. Ryan, thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. It's fun to be out here. So, can you tell us a little bit about, first of all, how you got into demolition derby? What goes through your I got a million questions. What goes through your mind when you drive in a car? How you got the car ready? And just tell me a little bit about your story. Yeah, for years I wanted to do Demolition Derby. I went to fairs uh, all over the United States and I saw the Demolition Derby and I thought, that's something I want to do, but I knew there were some definite limitations because I was injured 20 years ago and um, I wanted to get into it, so I researched it and then I found some people that helped me to understand what I needed to do to make the car safe. So what kind of things do you need to do to first make a car ready for Demolition Derby, then make a car you know, ready for you to, uh, just to be smashed into? <laughs> well, there's a lot that goes into it and it's... Uh, Pretty safe. There's a lot of safety precautions. For example, we got this um, cross member steel right here that goes across to protect the car from having someone drive straight through it. So it's got a lot of reinforcements. And uh, then you got to throw in like a derby shifter, a lot of people do, which just has forward and reverse and sometimes neutral. Um, so it's very elementary. And then you strip the vehicle down to its bare minimum. As you can see, there's very, very little to the car other than the body. So what goes through your mind before the derby? So right now we got about two hours before the derby starts. You seem way more relaxed than I would ever be. You seem more relaxed you know, than I am just on a Saturday afternoon. How are you knowing in a few hours you're going to be in this car smashing to other people? What goes through your mind? How do you prepare yourself? Um, I don't really do a whole lot of preparation other than try to talk to people on strategy and things like that. But I don't really get nervous until the car rolls out there. I got my helmet on. They're singing the national anthem and then everyone fires up their car, and no one has exhaust systems, so all the cars around you are just, you know, thundering, and you realize you're about ready to get into an accident, and that's when my, uh, my pulse quickens for sure, and it's a lot of fun. People might not realize there's a lot of strategy and thought that goes into driving a car in the Derby. Can you tell us a little bit about your strategy and sort of what goes through your mind as you're getting ready to uh, start the crashing? Yeah, you know, absolutely. The strategy is basically to take as many hits with the rear end. You want to protect your radiator and distributor and then your motor and your drive shaft. So you take most of your hits with the rear. And then you, most of your hits that you make, you want to be strategic about it. You want to hit the tires to, to try and break tie rods or uh, drive shafts. Or you want to hit the corners of the car, try to cave it in so it shreds the tires. So you don't want to just do a direct hit. So the, kind of the strategy is make sure you're always protecting your front end, if that means nosing into a corner and then coming out hitting your strikes and going back in and out. That's a good rule for life too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So how do you get a car ready for the derby? What kind of what kind of things do you have to do? And what kind of car, or at least what parts of cars, do you uh, we have right here? Yeah, this is a Frankenstein vehicle, so it's uh, multiple, depending on what parts you're looking at, it's from several different Impalas, different years, but all early 70s with the chassis and the body, but again, it's all Frankenstein together, and the preparation that goes into it is a lot of welding, and a lot of stripping of the car, and just trying to streamline it, and then uh, make sure the suspension's stiff, and you know, everything's within the rules. There's a lot more to it than people think. So to anybody in our audience who's looking at this and being like, yeah, that's badass, I wanna do it, what advice can you give them to get a car and be a driver in the Demolition Derby? Uh, contact Sunnyside. Uh, they're the promoters for this event. And uh, you can sign up, fill out an application, and they'll send you the rule sheet. Uh, and there's you know, quite a few rules, uh, mostly for safety. Um, go through that and then get together with a friend who's a welder or try to track down a, a car and uh, just start building from there. You forgot the one thing every driver needs to have, gigantic balls.
So what do you say to something like that? I feel like I want to flex and fight somebody. That was absolutely incredible to see drivers willingly get into their cars and smash into each other. You know, in my crazy younger days, I might have done some bumper cars or two, but never anything like this. That was absolutely incredible. Thank you guys for watching the episode of Techno Buffalo Driven. I hope you enjoyed this very special Demolition Derby episode. Be sure to subscribe to the tech feed right here. Get the latest and greatest tech news. Until next week, I am John Renger, and I'll smash you in the next video.